Will Iran, Hezbollah execute an assassination of a high-ranking Israeli figure? Are the ongoing ceasefire talks in Gaza just a charade, a distraction? Is the truth more ominous than we think? Reports emerging from Israel have painted a chilling picture. On Thursday, senior security officials warned members of Israel's security cabinet of a possible Iranian and Hezbollah plot to assassinate top Israeli figures. According to these officials, Hezbollah and Iran might not choose the traditional path of missile and drone strikes. Instead, they could opt for something far more calculated, more personal. A direct hit on high-ranking officials in the Israel Defense Forces, the Shin Beth, Mossad, or lawmakers and politicians. And such a move would be a retaliation for the assassinations of Hezbollah commander Fouad Shukri in Beirut and the Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. But the question remains, why now? Earlier this week, remember, multiple reports suggested that the U.S. was bracing for an imminent Iranian attack on Israel. Could this be the strike they anticipated? For over four decades, Iran has avoided targeting major foreign officials, focusing instead on dissenters within its borders or Kurdish figures. But could we be witnessing a strategic shift fueled by Hezbollah's influence? Could a high-ranking Israeli official actually be on the hit list? History suggests that this might not be as far-fetched as it seems. According to experts, traditionally Iran has favored a restrained tit-for-tat approach rather than outright escalation. Take for instance the events of early this year. In April, an Israeli airstrike on Iran's consulate in Syria killed 16 people, including members of Iran's Revolutionary Guards. Two weeks later, Iran launched a barrage of drones and missiles towards Israel, though most of these were intercepted. The attack demonstrated Iran's capability and, crucially, its willingness to retaliate enough to appease its public without actually triggering a full-blown war. But the assassination of Hamas leader Ismail Hani on Iranian soil cannot be brushed aside. Experts have said that this was a significant blow to Iran's sovereignty and in response, the typical tit-for-tat strategy might just evolve into something far more dangerous. A targeted assassination of a high-ranking Israeli official could serve to even the scales, but it could also ignite a regional conflict with catastrophic consequences. If Iran decides to strike back in this manner, the repercussions may not be contained within the borders of Israel and Iran. Tehran's threats, when they involve destruction, are taken very seriously by the global community, which waits in fearful anticipation of the chaos that could follow. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, remember, had vowed severe punishment for the attack in Tehran. And Iran is not just another regional player. It's a power capable of rallying proxies from Lebanon, Syria, Yemen, Iraq at a moment's notice. Hezbollah is armed with precision rockets and drones, boasting an arsenal that some experts estimate at 100,000 rockets. In the year 2021, Hezbollah leader Sayed Hassan Nasrallah claimed that the group had 100,000 fighters, many of whom are battle-hardened from their involvement in Syria. And if you want to gauge Hezbollah's might, just look at the video that we are about to show you. According to experts, the U.S., Israel and their allies will not stand idly by, adding that Israel and the U.S. are likely to be prepared for a significant response if Hezbollah and Iran decide to strike. In fact, the U.S. Navy's recent deployment of warships and a submarine to the region could be an indication that Washington is bracing for the absolute worst. 
Israel Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has also made it abundantly clear that Israel is watching Beirut and Tehran very closely. And this vigilance raises another pressing question. What are we to make of the ongoing ceasefire talks in Doha? Hamas, notably, is absent from the meeting. It is reportedly being mediated by Qatari and Egyptian officials. There are also reports suggesting that Hamas might join the talks next week if they see merit in the ceasefire plan. Some experts believe that any retaliatory attack by Iran and Hezbollah is unlikely during these talks. But even if a ceasefire is reached, there is no guarantee that it will actually prevent Iran and Hezbollah from, from responding. The situ situation as such remains perilously unpredictable. In the midst of these developments, we are left with more questions than answers. The future of West Asia is shrouded in uncertainty and the stakes have never been higher. Could an assassination be the spark that sets off a regional war? Is the current calm before the storm? Or are we witnessing the early stages of a broader conflict with catastrophic consequences? One thing is clear, the delicate balance in the region could tip at any moment with consequences that would be felt far beyond the borders of Israel and Iran. And as we sit on the edge of our seats, we can only wonder what will happen next. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.